Involved in the alleged assault earlier. That's unclear. But it would be unwise of them, Garrett. I don't think it would be the case. Yeah, I've just heard about it now. I don't know when it took place, but allegedly, um, a local person who may have been targeted in the attack yesterday—not directly, but was one of the people in the, you know, the, the fracas yesterday. But allegedly, according to Rich Paul, he was pushed into the fountain here earlier today. It's unclear if there's video of it, it's unclear if there's video of the face of the person um, who did it, but um, yeah, there was unfortunately an assault here earlier, and it's, to me, it's really sad that we're hearing of so many instances of just juvenile violence here in Keene, people attacking each other because they disagree with them. Um, that's one of the things I think here as activists we're here to prevent, to de-escalate situations um, whenever they may be escalating in that manner. So it's unfortunate that chalk does motivate people to behave strangely. I've never seen it anywhere else in all of the places I've chalked and all the places I've videotaped. Keen seems unique in this way. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to continue peacefully doing this action. I don't want people to associate chalk with violence just because there's so much violence associated with people chalking here in Keen. Or not so much people chalking, but people who are upset about the chalkings. We've got the air raid siren going off right now. So. Yeah, so now audio is going to be pointless, so just wrap it up. Uh, that's it? Yeah, you know. Alright, thanks. 